everyone, I'm going to share with you how to make the extra long wallet that you can place your phone in there. Because now today, if you leave the phone behind, you're going to die. So, uh, I don't want people to die here. I have two interfaces in here that the uh, interface is number 809. And I have cut two. Let's just do one first and then do the other uh, same. So this I cut it 9 inches wide and 15 inches long. You go to Walmart, they have that. And you ask them to cut by the yard for you. For this I'm going to mark in 2 inch on the side. And 2 and half inch on this side, okay? And so when you're done, you go on to get whatever. You can curl with your hand too, but I use the 8 inches place. Place it in here so I can round this area. How the bird go flying this way? When you have profit dried out, and especially when you do a wallet that it fold down, you don't want the bird to be like upside down, you, like you just shoot them. Don't do that. Instead of doing the profit this way, you're going to go this way. So when you fold just like this, it's a flap of the wallet. You see, the bird's flying up. You don't do this, okay? You don't go this way because you have one side that the bird going up, right? And then this one on the back of the wallet, the bird going down. So it's like, it have that. So you're doing this. And then the other side of the wallet, the bird still flying sideways and it's still alive okay all right so now when you do when you have the fam the interface and in, you're going to place in here okay and then the uh, fabric and you make sure you have a quarter up and in around okay cut it out a quarter up and in extra around and then you're going to find the lining fabric and you're going to place this on the lining and cut out two. One or for each, okay? One after I cut the lining, I cut two pieces of the lining. I'm going to place, oh my goodness. I'm going to place the right side to the right side of each. I'm knocking the camera. Tsunami is here. Okay, basic sewing. I'm not showing you because it's so simple. Okay, on here you're going to leave two and just open. So follow the interfacing. So all around, all around down to here and stop. Leave this open. So don't sew that part. Okay, that one and then this second piece you're doing the same thing. So this one you're going to do exact the same. So all around, follow the interfacing to here and leave this open. Do not sew on the interfacing. You're going to sew on the side of this. Just so you know that, check in my description if you want to know the material, where to buy, thing like that. Okay? Sometimes you ask me question, but I don't answer until the next day. All right, so go and sew that two piece together. Two and a half inch by 12 and I fold right in the middle like this and then from the two side I fold it into the center and from this I sew, I fold it in like this. Now you're going to sew the top and the bottom. Okay. Okay everyone I finished both of them so 
fold this side and the one that you left it open just do this first everything else you don't need to do you don't need to zigzag this area that's fine because the interfacing do this way so you don't need to do anything and it push for you so inside out both So everyone for this, you're going to fold it in half. Just gently press right in here, just like that, okay? So you have the center. And it forms the center going down five and a half inch. I'm gonna use this one so you can see that five and a half. And I'm going to do this, the two ends like this, and it's like that, okay? And I'm going to place it in here, right where you just marked. Okay, go sew this in. So everyone, after I sew on this, I'm going to place the other side, the right side to the right side on top of this. From the bottom up, you're going to mark 5 inch. So the first line 5 inches, and then I'm going up another 5. So from the side in here, you're going to mark in one, one inch. I have the video with the smaller one that I make it a few months ago. And this one, the lady asked to share the bigger one, um, bigger size. So now we go going to sew, sew this together. So you're going to sew this rectangle. So this line or the rectangle. You see, we saw on this rectangle. Okay, and now we have something like this on both sides. Side. All right, so everyone on each side right here, you're gonna go and top stitch this straight line right here, and then on this one too, this one right here, top stitch. So everyone, 
everyone after I top stitch right here in this line you're going to flap both sides like this okay flap it out so it like this so make sure you pull it all the way make sure to fold it out here go all the way up and both of them have to meet nicely together and when you're done you're gonna take one side of this clip this up okay and then clip it so you can sew on this side too this one side and then the other side we're going to clip it together so that is two okay come into this side you're going to do exact the same make sure everything straight up nice and even So now when you look in here you can see that we have two sides okay so you go to sew we're gonna sew here close to here all the way on the top here go all the way all the way and go to here sew this down and then you come into here you're gonna sew the other side exact the same way go sew around around and then this one too
So everyone, after I sold it, and then you see the we have the two separate, okay? And um, here, big space, one, and then this one, and then that one. So you're gonna fold it down. On each here, you're gonna fold it down. When you fold, you're gonna make sure everything is meet up nicely, okay? Like that, and then go to the other side. Okay, fold it down, make sure the fold um, from one side, the other side is um, perfectly even. You can make longer strap if you want to make that, and then you can hang on your, you know, uh, put on your shoulder. If you want to do that, you can add one in here from the beginning when we do in the center. Instead of doing center, you can do one side and then the other side to make a handbag, okay? Very simple. It's easy to um, adjust that. I want to use the other type of button. I'm using madness one and this one to sew in. Okay, so I have to pair one for each. Because I like this thing, when you do, you'll slide it down and it's just snap for you instead of pushing it down. So okay, press the center right there. From the center now. One inch. Do the same thing to this side. I'm going to do this one right here. To do that one, I'm going to use the small one right here. Okay, the, this one with the thing sticking out. Go right into the middle with the one inch that you mark and then you're going to go underneath I like this one because it's stronger and it snaps very well when you just pull it down and you defy the mat and it just snap for you I just want to make sure okay so slide it underneath and go to one side over there I don't go to this side I only go to the line and right here and then scoop this up and sold it all four sides. Continue to slide the needle when you make the next holes. Okay? And when you're done, when you're done, you go on to pull this down. Pull the flap down. Okay, make sure everything is back to where you've um, ironed earlier. Press, press this down. When you press this down, the hole here make a mark for you, and it's right here. That's where you go going to add this one. Okay, so do that for both sides, exactly the same way. So you're going to do the same thing to this side, everyone, okay? So everyone, I finished. So do the way that I cut the fabric. If the bird going this way or that way, you go to place the flap going sideways, okay? So everything going like this. Perfect. Look at that. No upside down, nothing. Okay, so it big. Let me see. The Y side of this is... Eight and then three quarter of an inch. 
five inch and a quarter. You can put the phone in there if you want because you know you 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 want to to be able to leave. You don't want to die, so leave it there. The phone. And like I say, you can ask the 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 strap for the shoulder if you want to. Instead of me putting right in the middle, you go one side one and then the other side one and then you sew exactly the same but it make it longer i would do if you want to go over the shoulder you make about like 40. okay it depend if you want adjustable you have to cut 50. Mm -hmm. and check this wallet out too this one is have compactment and then it have the other one right here and it have so many for the credit card and everything like that and then change and money and then also the snap button Check this one. Uh, this is one of my favorite too. I like that a lot. Look at that. Put the the loop uh, the handle here. If you don't want to, you keep it at the wallet, and then you um you use that for inside of your handbag. The money you can put it in here, you know, and many things. If you have a small wallet or anything, you can put the card in there if you like. Okay, everyone. Stay safe. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to support my channel, like, share, and subscribe. And also, thank you for the people who subscribe to my second channel. When I get to 1,000 subscribers for that channel, I will upload more video. And um, thank you for the people again that send prayer to my brother and still praying for my brother. He is um, improving a lot. Stay safe everyone, love you.